August 19, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 542 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Ukraine rebuffs Kremlin attacks in all fronts, and liberates field by field their lands. Kremlin missile reach continues to show Ukraine is lacking strategic reach and necessary air defense capabilities. Civilians are murdered by Kremlin missile strike at a poorly located technology demonstration in northern Ukraine. Dnieper line. Ukraine has released the following map showing ground on the left bank islands currently held by Ukraine. Rumors were that Ukraine had started to move armor to these shores, suggesting it is possible they will be expanding this territory soon. However, even if they do not have tanks here, the terrain is favorable, as shown here. You can see that the west side of the river, the right bank, is roughly 150 feet higher than the main highway on the left bank in this area. Zaporizhia Front Ukraine is reporting that the secured areas around Robotyne have grown again. If we look at the topography we can get a better idea of some of the struggles and goals each side faces in the combat. Ukraine approaches from a lower ground almost entirely across this front, making distances difficult to transit, making their view range of enemy movements reduce, and placing enemy guns in a position to outreach their own. Shelling was notably heavy around the Morky Yoli. East Front, Donetsk. Heavy Kremlin action on this front. Marienka, Krasnoharivka, and Avdiivka saw repulsed Kremlin ordered attacks. Invaders also launched an attack south of Karamik at the canal at Novo Kalinov. More attacks were launched at Pivnikny, which is bordering what we call Bakhmut area. Another attack was made on the town of Krasnoharivka, north of Marienka and southwest of Donetsk. Kremlin glide bombing and missile strikes were notable. Bakhmut area. Attacks by the Kremlin at Pivnikny and Kurdyamivka appear to be aiming to capture the rail lines around the T-05-16 highway. Ukraine appears to have pushed the contested zone eastward around Andiivka village. The remainder of Bakhmut was quiet other than shelling. Oskil border front. The addition of the Azov Brigade to the National Forest east of Lyman appears to have proved liberated lands in the last day. In the north around Kupiansk Ukraine reports that they have taken the fight to the Kremlin troops. Kremlin troops are taxing Kivka for the third day in a row. It may be inch by inch, but Ukraine still stands yet. Northern border. A civilian technology demonstration of drones in Chernihiv was hit by Kremlin missiles, with dozens of civilian casualties reported. Kremlin mouthpieces are claiming this was a NATO function, and dozens of mercenaries were killed, which if we consider the conditions, makes zero sense. The rail station in Kursk was claimed to have been set on fire by a drone, which Kremlin forces claimed to have shot down. Kremlin media says the fire was extinguished, but has reported five wounded as a result of the event. The Kremlin claims another two Ukrainian drones were shot down in Moscow suburbs. Black Sea. A large fire in shipping containers at a rail line in the port of Novorossiysk encompassed approximately 200 square meters at, last report. The Kremlin has five combat ships on patrol, none of them are missile carriers. Ukraine world related. In case anyone is wondering, whatever nation publishes the Hindustan Times isn't even seriously considered in anything global. So keep fluffing your tyrant neighbor like they've got something. You've got nothing worth hearing, get back to your dirty slave-making faith, until you've learned your dirty place. The Kremlin tried to hit the moon, and appears to have missed, though time will tell. Zelensky and his wife were in Sweden. Ireland has expanded the training they will provide to Ukrainian soldiers, to include rifle training. Previously Ireland agreed to train Ukraine on strictly non-lethal roles. Canada is training Ukrainian troops, which is a great boon for Ukraine. The world's longest recorded combat rifle kill was completed by a Canadian soldier. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.